Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so with the release of the AGL trunks uh, in the Saiyan Man costume, um, I'm not sure the order I'll upload all these videos because I'm recording them all pretty much at the same time, but I'll probably put up the showcase for him first. Um, so we've already seen what he can do on a full team, but as soon as he was announced, I had the idea to make this video. I thought it would be fun for a theme team. Obviously you've seen the title already, but I'll bring up the full team to show you here. So this is of course the Rise of the Saiyan Men. So as I'm sure you know at this point, the LR Saiyan Man 1 and 2, their leader skill is like Tech Vegito Blue, where your team has to include a super type unit of each color in order for their um, leader skill to activate. Now, they don't give key with their leader skill, but they give four key with their passive. Um, so that should hopefully balance it out. We're probably going to keep one on main rotation um, and one as a float. So the good thing is the units all link together really well. So we have this physical Videl, um, Sayaman 2 who is a defensive support unit. She gives super class allies defense 40%. She also lowers attack with her super attack. So she is pretty decent. Then of course we have the uh, new AGL trunks. We have this in Saiyan man uh, based from the Wrath of the Dragon movie. Um, he's an all right unit. He gives himself a little bit of an attack boost um, and an attack raise on his super, but he does also give super class allies attack 20%. And then, of course, we have the Saiyan Man 3 and 4 from the Heroes uh, banner and story event. We're going to keep them as a rotation together since the uh, Saiyan Man uh, 3 has his counters. And, of course, Saiyan Man 4, as we know from the runs on the Legendary Goku event, uh, is able to infinitely stack uh, his defense. Um, I think we, you know, we don't have our rotations quite set up the way we want. So we're going to have the new trunks um, on rotation with the... Saiyan Man 1 and 2, and then the Saiyan Man 4 and 3 together on a rotation. Um, they share enough links together, including Shattering the Limit, that it should make up for the lack of key from the leader skill. And then, of course, every couple of turns, we are going to get the uh, other Saiyan Man 1 and 2, the friend, to float in as well. So shout out to Shadow, my Discord mod, for setting the Saiyan Man 1 and 2 lead for me. They're... Uh, not really a leader that you can find much nowadays. So uh, hopefully we will get this done in one shot. Obviously I have brought items along. I figured since we are doing the team of Ultimate Justice, uh, who better to take on than Frieza? He's kind of like the ultimate enemy of justice in Dragon Ball. So, um, so we've already got you. Who do we want to keep on this rotation? I guess we'll keep this as the... Uh, rotation for this kid trunks so unfortunately because the uh videl and the gohan here don't have awakenings um they don't obviously have shattering the limit so this rotation not not good for super attacks but once we get the uh rotations shored up we should be okay so as long as uh trunks doesn't take a super attack right here in the first slot Hey, well, he gets an additional super, so that's uh, units like him that have those built in possibility for additional normals um, are obviously more likely to trigger. And then, of course, we get super attacked anyway, so 161. How much health do we actually have? 278,000. Okay, well, the Gohan here has type advantage, so he should be fine. And then uh, Saiyan Man 3 <clears throat> at least has the uh, counter as well. And we get a crit, so that's nice. Pretty decent damage there. So, we're going to keep B around. Uh, let's put you in the front slot. Can he be sealed? Yeah, he can. So, we're going to let Saiyan Man 1 and 2 go ahead and seal him up here. Then we can give B a super attack. And uh, we'll save our defense for later. Let's go ahead and pop a future Bulma here just to heal and do ourselves a little bit of extra damage. Um, the rotation, I think, will be fine. I'm, I would be a little bit worried about maybe Videl taking a super. But uh, Saiyan Man 1 and 2, I believe. Let me just bring up their links here, or their information here. Um, 
yeah, they also give a defensive buff to super class allies. So this rotation, very, very defensive. Two units giving a super um, defensive buff. This guy, of course, raising his defense with his super attack. Another good thing about this team is it's uh, not a common link outside of these units but pretty much every unit on the team has hero of justice as a link which is a 25 percent attack link um quite a few of them have patrol as well which gives two key um and then like i say quite a few of them have shattering the limit as well so that should work out quite nicely um okay so can't get those orbs to drop down Trunks already has pretty decent defense though. Maybe we should put him in the front. Because we can give him all of these, which not only gives him a super attack, but does activate his passive. And then I'm happy to only give them... Oh, there you go. We can go up the side there. I'm happy to only give them their 12 key super while he can still be sealed, because that is another good advantage. Of course, he super attacks in the first slot. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, obviously if this was the legendary Goku event, uh, this guy would have plenty of time to build up his defense so that we could uh, not take as much damage from super attacks. But Freezer, of course, not giving us the opportunity to do that and just throwing super attacks at us very early on. So getting off these additionals though, can we get an additional super again? No, but there you go. Normal attacks for like 5,000. I guess we'll take that for a free to play unit still very impressed with the uh say man trunks he's very good so now of course we seal this is typical uh typical dokon super attack us before we get a chance to seal him on this one turn but at least we got him sealed up now so this is going to be a good turn for the say man three in the first slot here so we'll keep him there get him some counters give that to you and then I guess we'll go ahead and grab these because now essentially we've got the uh, we're in a position where we can stun uh, or seal lock this uh, freezer since we can hit him with the Saiyan Man 1 and 2 at the end keep his super attack sealed and then for the next turn <laughs> Trunks will be in a much better position to uh, defend since he's not going to get super attacked again so another super attack for B aka Saiyan Man 4 Oh, well, there you go. So now we're going to switch. We take him out and we switch to final form Freezer. So now we have to worry about getting super attacked again. Um, I think maybe for the sake of uh, survival, we should probably just put Trunks in the middle. So we can get a super attack here. Can he still be? Yeah, he can still be sealed. So that's good. And then we just need to get, is it six? Is it five or six orbs to get Trunks' passive fully activated, but we managed to get six anyway, so, um, let's see, we're going to seal, ah, we'll just go ahead and pop a Sensu Bean, I'm not trying to get this done in, like, the least items possible or anything, it's just a fun theme team to run, and we managed to get a super attack with Videl as well, but yeah, I figured Saiyan Man 1 and 2 would tank the normal attacks well enough, and, uh, it seems like, Keeping Trunks out of the way definitely was a good idea because yet again he goes for the super attack in the first slot before we are able to get off the seal. So at least now he's super attack sealed and Trunks is going to get at least one super attack off before he gets hit. So we are looking good in that respect. No super attacks coming for the next rest of this turn and next turn. So... I mean, 600,000 off of a crit is definitely not bad for this new free-to-play Trunks, especially considering he does not stack his attack. He only stacks his defense with his super attack. And we only have defensive support units on the rotation, so he's not getting any extra buffs to his attack or anything like that. So I would, I'm quite happy with 600,000 off of a crit. Um, yeah, we'll put Saiyan Man in there. Because basically... Saiyan Man does work best, or Saiyan Man 3, should I say, because everyone on this rotation is a Saiyan Man. Uh, Saiyan Man 3 works best in the first slot because when he receives his first attack is when he gets that debuff to his defense. So the first attack, he actually tanks better than the rest of the attacks in the turn. Um, 
So he's only going to take one hit with his lowered defense here. Obviously, if we put him in the middle, we'd get three chances at getting counterattacked. But, because, yeah, we'll see here. He takes double digits. Yeah, nice crit counter. I still love his super attack animation. I think it's very cool. He is one of the units that I managed to pour dupe for. Oh, and we're going to get the additional super as well. So, unfortunately for Saiyan Man 3, while he obviously fits the theme of this team, he's not actually the best unit for this team because his passive, um, the way he gets his biggest attack and defensive buff is by having time traveler allies. And so, of course, on this build of the team, the only time traveler ally is the Saiyan Man 4. Um, so that including himself, there's only two members of the team that give him the boost. Whereas, of course, if we were on a an actual Time Traveler's team, um, he'll be getting the full boost, his passive, and his attack and defense would be much better. So, um, okay, yeah, he can't be sealed anymore, so there's no point really going for um, the 12 key super attack. So we'll go ahead and grab this. Um, we want to get the, yeah, we'll get the three orbs for Trunks, because that at least activates part of his passive, and he should get one additional. And then we're pretty close to our Dokon mode as well, so with both the Saiyan Man 1 and 2s on rotation, their defensive buff should be more than enough to not have to worry about anything other than a super. Trunks is in the middle where there are no attacks, so we don't have to worry about him. So, I was a little bit concerned because, I, like I said, I did want to take on a Freezer event. Um, but this t this event is one of the harder ones for, like, a team that is largely free to play. And, of course, the Saiyan Man leader skill is only 100%. But, considering the sheer amount of defensive buffs that they, uh, the team gives out, and the fact that they do have that um, Hero of Justice link, um, we're doing pretty well, all things considered. And we should be finishing this off with a Dokon attack. So, who should we give that to? I guess we should probably give that to uh, Saiyan Man 4, aka Beat, just because, unfortunately, Saiyan Man 3, not the best in uh, on this team. Plus, that works out perfectly, actually, because we can leave him in the middle. I guess it doesn't work out perfectly, because no super attack for him there. So, we'll go ahead and do this, then. And then we'll give the Dokon attack to say I'm at four in the middle. And then I guess we will just do I wonder how how much defense has this Videl got now? For, for 45,000, that's not too bad. Um super attack would probably be bad though. So let's just go ahead and use this. Why not? We want to finish this off with a bang with the big Dokon attack. I definitely don't want to uh have him survive the Dokon attack and then Videl gets supered at the end and uh, gets herself killed. So hopefully the emulator, yeah, decently slow. Slower than I expected, in fact. <laughs> Missed the middle one. But let's see what we can get out of the Saiyan Man 4 here. His attack stat up to about 670,000. Obviously not amazing, but he hasn't had that many turns to stack up his... Uh, stats as well as of course the lower leader skill but yeah 570,000 and an additional super as well so this is all going to help out with his defense yeah that crit additional super means he did manage to at least put out a, uh, a million damage by himself so I'll take that that's pretty good so obviously like I said this is a fun theme team uh, it's not meant for like steamrolling a Dokon event with no items used and of course as I feared Videl taking the super attack here, so yeah, 80,000 with a Princess Snake active. I feel like if we hadn't used an item at all, we absolutely would have died, so that seems like it was indeed the right choice. I'm a little bit disappointed though, the uh, Saiyan Man 1 and 2 and uh, the new kid Saiyan Man trunks don't have as many links as... Uh, I mean, I guess to be fair, they do have a fair few links together, but... They only have Shattering the Limit for Key. Um, I guess the Kid Trunks doesn't have Patrol. No, he doesn't. Which is a shame, because that's uh, it's making it a little bit more difficult to super attack with this rotation. How are we looking if we do this? Yeah, see, they have them together. So... 
as much as I don't really want to float off trunks we are right at the end here so I guess to be fair with the order that I release these we've already done our showcase for trunks so I just wanted to keep him on rotation as he is the new you know the new hotness for this team for uh, global he is the reason why I wanted to make this team in the first place with him being added I mean technically uh, I'm not sure what the name of the int Gohan Saiyaman is actually he's probably just named Saiyaman because with the Saiyaman 1 and 2 leader skill, we have to have a unit of each type. But there is the AGL Saiyaman from the barbershop. But he's obviously really not very good. But <laughs> Kid Trunks comes through at the end though. Manages to get an additional... Gets a crit. Takes out Frieza. So there you go. That is the uh, Saiyaman <laughs> team. The team of True Justice taking out... Golden Freezer, and uh, there you go. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master again. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, just a fun theme team. So, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you have any ideas for other theme teams, uh, make sure you leave them in the comments. If you look through the channel, I've done tons of random theme team battles based on suggestions from you guys. So, I'm always up for doing more things like that. So check out my Twitch channel and or join my Discord. The link's in the description. And I'll see you all again soon. Have a good one.